the Father, of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Welcome to all of you, both present here in person, and uh, join us virtually. And today we are so happy we have a Father Gary Holm join us. As we come together for this sacred Mass, we are reminded of God's steadfast love and the faithfulness towards us. In today's Gospel, Jesus reveals his divine authority and mission, affirming his unity with the Father. Let us open our hearts to receive the word of God and allow it to guide us into a deeper relationship with our loving Creator. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned my in my thoughts, in my words, words in what, what I have done, done <clears throat> what I failed to do, through, to my, fault, fault, through my, my fault, through my fault, through my most, most grievous fault. fault. Therefore, Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, Mary ever Virgin, all, all the angels and the saints, and, and you, you, my brothers and sisters, sisters to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who reward the merits of the just and offer pardon to sinners who do penance, have mercy, we pray, on those who call upon you that the admission of our guilt may serve to obtain your pardon for our sins. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. reading from the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, at the favorable time I will answer you. On the day of salvation I will help you. I have formed you and have appointed you as covenant of the people. I will restore the land and assign you the estates that lie waste. I will say to the prisoners, come out. To those who are in darkness, show yourselves. On every roadway they will graze, and each bare hide shall be their pasture. They will never hunger or thirst. Scorching wind and sun shall never plague them. For he who pities them will lead them and guide them to springs of water. I will make a highway of all the mountains, and the high roads shall be banked up. Some are on their way from afar, others from the north and the west, others from the land of Sinem. Shout for joy, you heavens, exult, you earth. You mountains break into happy cries, for the Lord consoles his people and takes pity on those who are afflicted. For Zion was saying, the Lord has abandoned me, the Lord has forgotten me. Does a woman forget her baby at the breast or fail to cherish the son of her womb? Yet, even if these forget, I will never forget you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Responsorial Psalm. The response is The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is kind and full of compassion, slow to anger, abounding in love. How good is the Lord to all, compassionate to all his creatures? The Lord, the Lord is, is Lord kind, kind and full of compassion. The Lord is faithful to, in all his words and loving in all his deeds. The Lord supports all who fall and raises all who are bowed down. The, the Lord, Lord is kind and full of compassion. The Lord is just in all his ways and loving in all his deeds. He is close to all who call him, who call him from their hearts. This the Lord is kind and full of compassion. Gospel acclamation. 
Glory and praise to you, O Christ. God loved the world so much that he gave his only Son, and everyone who believes in him has eternal life. Glory and praise to you, O Christ. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to the Jews, My father goes on working, and so do I. But that only made the Jews even more intent on killing him. Because, not content with breaking the Sabbath, he spoke of God as his own father, and so made himself God's equal. To this accusation, Jesus replied, I tell you most solemnly, the Son can do nothing by himself. He can do only what he sees the Father doing. And whatever the Father does, the Son does too. For the Father loves the Son and shows him everything he does himself. And he will show him even greater things than these, works that will astonish you. Thus, as the Father raises the dead and gives them life, so the Son gives life to anyone he chooses. For the Father judges no one. He has entrusted all judgment to the Son, so that all may honour the Son as they honour the Father. Whoever refuses honour to the Son refuses honour to the Father who sent him. I tell you most solemnly, whoever listens to my words and believes in the one who sent me has eternal life. Without being brought to judgment, he has passed from death to life. I tell you most solemnly, the hour will come. In fact, it is here already when the dead will hear the voice of the Son of God, and all who hear it will live. For the Father, who is the source of life, has made the Son the source of life. And because he is the Son of Man, has appointed him supreme judge. Do not be surprised at this, for the hour is coming when the dead will leave their graves at the sound of his voice. Those who did good will rise again to life, and those who did evil to condemnation. I can do nothing by myself. I can only judge as I am told to judge. And my judging is just, because my aim is to do not my own will, but the will of him who sent me. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's first reading, Isaiah, in his poetic imagery, portrays God as both the mighty force capable of moving mountains to bring his people home, and a tender mother nurturing her child with unfathomable love. These images seemingly contrasting only serve to underscore the multifaceted nature of our Creator. And in the Gospel, John devils into the mysteries of the Godhead, contemplating life, death, judgment, resurrection, sin, and grace. These are weighty matters. Indeed, but they remind us of the vastness of God's plan for us and the eternal scope of his love. Yet, amidst these profound reflections, we encounter the pettiness of legalistic arguments, such as whether God's good works should be done on the Sabbath. 
Jesus, in his mercy, heals a lame man, yet some are more concerned with the letter of the law than with the beauty of God's transformative power. How often do we, like those Jews, become narrow-minded and blinded by our own prejudices and fears? How often do we allow the trivialities of life to obscure the grandeur of God's creation and the urgent needs of our fellow human beings? Dear friends, Lent offers us an opportunity to purify our hearts and to live more fully aware of God's grace and the precious gift of life. Let us not be content with mere observances of rituals, but let us truly embrace the spirit of land by opening our hearts to the needs of others and striving to live in harmony with God's love. I invite you to stand. Let us turn to God our Father, bring him all our needs. We pray. May Pope Francis, elected as Bishop of Rome and Pope of the Church, 11 years ago today, continue to be guided by the Holy Spirit as he leads us along the way of Jesus, proclaiming his mercy and compassion. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. May those who are negotiating for peace across Palestine and Israel continue in good faith, seek the safety of all, relief for all in desperate situations, and help calm every fear. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for those who have lost loved ones, may they find comfort and peace in the knowledge that God is with them always and that their loved ones are in his loving care. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. We pray for all who join us this morning virtually. May you continue to know the presence of God, alive and active in your hearts and in your homes. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord gracious, hear us. us. Let us take quite a moment to pray for our own intentions. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for all the special intentions of this Mass, we pray for Diana, Ahocho, and Jandon, George's intentions, Oren O'Hara for healing, Orlando Antico, Australia, Galinda Cousin, Dublin for surgery, and also we pray for birthday blessings upon Lisama, and also pray for 66th birthday blessings upon our Helen Law, and also 74th birthday blessings upon our Rita and Belen Nueva, El Paso, Texas. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. And for all the faithful departed, we pray for the soul of Monica Nana Odo, Nigeria, and her family. And also we pray for whose anniversary occur at this time, Brendan Fitzsimons, Bremer, Ballyfing Road, Mary Dooley, Patrick Street, Montemerick, Cora Rosbeck, formerly Bronx, New York, Nina Nando, India, Edgar Parker, Santa Teresa, New Mexico, Valeria Henriques, Melbourne, Josefina Gumpo, Pereira, Ekagu, Isabella, Philippines, and also we pray for birthday remembrance of Charlie O'Hara, Newbridge, that they may share the joy of blessed Virgin Mary and all the saints in heaven. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Gracious and merciful Father, hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. May the power of this sacrifice, O Lord, we pray, mercifully wipe away what is old in us and increase in us grace of salvation and newness of life through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, for you will that our self-denial should give you thanks, humble our sinful pride, contribute to the feeding of the poor, and so help us imitate you in your kindness. And so we glorify you with countless angels, as with one voice of praise we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God, God of hosts, heaven, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, the founder of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of the faith. We, we proclaim, proclaim your, your death, death, O Lord, Lord and, and profess your resurrection until, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and charge of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us with thee to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking with the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. 
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Dennis, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O oh, glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom, thy kingdom come, come thy, will thy will be done, be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, bread and, forgive and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive, forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from, from evil. evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on other things, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us of each other the sign of peace. Peace with you. Lamb of God, you take, you take away, away the sins of the world. Of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that, that you should enter me. under my roof. Only, only say, say the word, and my soul shall be healed. For those joining us via Perisodium Webcam and Salon World TV, we pray an act of spiritual communion. Soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, inebriate me. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O good Jesus, hear me. Within thy wounds, hide me. Suffer me not to be separated from the, from the malignant enemy, defend me. And thou of my dead, call me, and bid me come unto thee, that with the saints I may praise thee forever and ever. Amen.
Let us pray. May your heavenly gifts, O Lord, we pray, which you bestow as a heavenly remedy on your people, not bring judgment to those who receive them through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a reminder: after evening, seven thirty, after evening mass at eight p.m. tonight, there is a Fatima Rosary at the grotto. All are welcomed.、Uh, as always, thank you all for being with us this morning, either physically or virtually. All your support made this mass possible. Special thanks to Father Gary Holmes、uh, for consecrating、uh, this mass with me, and our sister Sacristan, Minister of the Word, Extraordinary Minister of the Holy Communion, and Alexandra for the lovely music.、Uh, thank you very much. Have a blessed day. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit, may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The mass is ended. Let us go forth to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.
matter what you are going through, fear not, God can deliver you. Be assured that we are always there to pray for you. Submit your prayer requests at swprayer.org. Call us 